If you want some FIFA 23 coins, please check out MMOXP.com. Their link is down in the description. They're fast, cheap, and reliable. And if you use code REMA, you can get yourself a 5% discount. So what's up, guys? My name's Ash, and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you my updated 4231 custom tactics and player instructions. These are the ones that I'm using in Foot Champs and Rivals at the moment, and they've been really good. Uh, I said I would rein it in with the tactics videos a bit, and I will. Uh, it's just I thought I'd update you guys with what I'm currently using because a lot of you are very interested in this formation in particular. Uh, but just before we get into today's video, guys, I'd very much appreciate it if you could drop it a thumbs up as it does really help with the YouTube algorithm. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you are notified when a video is posted. And with all that aside, guys, let's get right into today's video. Okay, guys, so starting off with the defensive style, I have this on balance. This is something I always like to use as it gives you the greatest control in defense A lot of people like to use pressure tactics, but uh, I'm not a big fan and obviously you do get a bit of a stamina drain I like to have greater control over my defense uh, and press when I want to press and be more conservative when I need to be So having it on balance gives me greater control, but like I said if you want to use pressure tactics go ahead uh, Moving on to the defensive width guys. We have this on 42 The reason for this is people like to play narrow primarily in this game so it's important that we cover the central areas of the pitch. So having a lower width like 42 allows us to cover those central areas primarily as the diagram in the bottom right shows, but it also gives you a bit of width. So if somebody does go down the wing, you are able to cover those areas as well. So it's very nice and balanced, but it does primarily focus on, you know, being narrow and compact, which is important in this game. Now, moving on to depth, guys, this is something that I've changed a lot throughout the year, but I've started to settle on having a higher depth again the reason being is when I had a lower depth I felt like I was inviting pressure onto myself so I've started to opt this again yes you have the three balls that you have to deal with but a lot of the time you can just run a player back to track that run and because the rest of your team's nice and high up you can actually snatch the ball back quite quickly uh, and start off more attack so it does work very well but you have to be alert when you are defending but it is very effective if you know what you are doing if you do feel more comfortable with a lower depth obviously you can do that and if you want to even go higher to like 72 so you have like the automatic offside trap do that but I like to have it on 65 so we can press nice and high uh, but obviously when we do need to drop a bit deeper it's still able to do that uh, but yeah depth is something that varies between player now moving on to build up play guys this is something that I've changed again and I've gone back to something I was using at the beginning of the year and we're using fast build up the reason being is the 4231 actually has a lot of players in the middle of the park you essentially have five midfielders technically so having this on fast build up means a lot of your midfield players are going to be moving around creating more passing opportunities uh, and moving up the pitch a little bit quicker so you can play at a faster pace and it can be a lot more fun it can be easier to link up the play using this you can obviously get caught out uh, if you lose the ball because your players do move up the pitch very quickly but it kind of goes hand in hand with a higher depth so essentially you know your defensive line isn't going to be super deep and then your midfield and attack isn't going to go flying off it's all very much up the pitch if that makes sense so it does work quite well but if you want to use balance you can go ahead now moving on to chance creation guys I suggest having this on direct passing especially if you're on the new gen version of the game the reason being is if you look at the diagram in the bottom right hand corner of the screen you can see it's the only tactic which actually makes your attackers move in a dynamic motion you know it allows them to penetrate the defensive line they really do make those movements in behind and to break the defensive line if you look at something like balance you really don't see much movement and they don't really bother the defense that much you can see it's very static so if you're on the new gen version of the game I very much suggest direct passing but if you are on old gen uh, direct passing is not as much of a requirement uh, but you still might want to use it now moving on to attacking width guys because this is a narrow formation I like to have the width on about 40 this goes very well with fast buildup as well because you know your players are going to be nice and compact and they're going to be moving around a lot but they're going to do it in a narrow motion so you can string together nice little short passes which you wouldn't be able to do if your width was high because obviously the shorter passes you're able to get off a lot quicker and more often so that's why we have a lower width and you're going to see how I end up getting more width in my player instructions now moving on to players in box guys this is down to preference but I like to have this on six the reason being is I like to get a few players into the box but I don't want to overcome 
commit my whole team. So we do get players into the box, but we also have a few players back to stop us getting counter-attacked. Now, lastly, corners and free kicks are down to preference. I like to have this on two so I can get some players into the box for a cross or to pass it into them. Uh, but again, we won't get counter-attacked too easily. But if you want to have this higher or lower, that is completely up to you. Now for the players you want to use guys, in the striker position, because it is a one striker formation, you do have to compensate for the fact that there is only one striker, you know. In a two striker formation, you could use like a lengthy player and an explosive player to balance out your attack. Uh, but in a one striker formation, you really have to get that balance within the one player. So I'm using Robbie Keane as he's got the five star weak foot so he can shoot on either foot. He's got good dribbling, good shooting, good passing, you know, good strength. And he's got a bit of everything which is important in this role. Uh, I do suggest getting a nice well-rounded striker in a one striker formation but let's say you want to use Haaland up top or even like Ben Yedder or whatever a more specific player go ahead that's completely fine now in the cam position I actually suggest somebody with the proper cam movement somebody that moves correctly somebody that makes those good runs somebody that is agile so I'm using Phil Foden because he's very good in that role something that also helps is a high high work rate because you're getting the most movement possible uh, by the AI out of the player and you're going to see why this works in the player instructions as well so if you can get like a high high cam like Phil Foden that's brilliant but if not just go for somebody that is a natural cam somebody that's got good agility somebody that can fill the role basically uh, but yeah moving on to the wide cams you want more winger style players here I'm using Chiesa and Di Maria you want players that are good on the ball players that are quick players that can shoot that can pass that can cross you know players with skills players that can do a bit of everything in these positions there's not too many requirements for the wide cam positions but I do suggest using like technical players in those positions now for your right CDM I suggest a more box to box style player because this will make sense in the player instructions they're going to attack and they're going to defend so something that's important is the high high work rate and you want them to have very well rounded stats so I'm currently using Park Ji Sung but if you need a cheap option that will still work fine you can use Renato Sanchez now in the other CDM spot you're going to want to use a more defensive stay back player so I'm using Patrick Vieira the perfect work rate for this player is a medium high work rate but for example this version of Vieira has a medium medium but because he has good defensive stats he works fine so you do want to get somebody with a very good defensive stats here and a medium high work rate is uh, the you know the best possible option but don't worry too much if you can't get that uh, and for the full backs guys you can just pretty much use whoever you want you can use two defensive players you can use two attack attacking players uh, or you can go for a bit of a balance like I've done here so I'm using Teo Hernandez and Carl Walker Hernandez is a more attacking fullback better on the ball and Carl Walker is a more defensive fullback which is better at defending so I like to go for a bit of a balance but you guys can pretty much use what you want as for the defend like the center backs and goalkeeper you just want to go for the players that are as meta as possible or players that will help you with chemistry basically uh, but make sure your center backs are as good as you can possibly make them Okay, for player instructions, guys, on the striker, I suggest stay central and get in behind. The reason being is we don't want this player drifting off to the wings as we've already got wide players there. We need this guy to be central so he's there to finish off the chances. We also have him on get in behind so he does make those runs by default. It doesn't mean you always have to play the ball in behind. It just means they will make those runs. And let's say you want to play it short, you could just tap R1 so he runs short to you. So it just gets more movement out of your player, but it doesn't always mean you have to ping the ball over. Uh, over the top um, now moving on to the cam like I said you want like a nice high high player here somebody with the nice movements if possible but don't worry too much if you can't get that uh, and we have stay forward on the instructions and that's pretty much it the reason being is stay forward will counteract the high defensive work rate if that makes sense so because we've got him on stay forward by default he's going to want to sit a bit higher and because he's got the high defensive work rate he's going to drop even more like he's going to drop a little bit so it's a bit more natural so a basically he's going to stay forward but he's also not going to stay too far forward he's still going to get involved when you don't have the ball basically so it does work really well it's a nice balance uh, moving on to the wide cams I have get into the box for cross the reason for this is you want them to transition into the box when you are attacking again it doesn't mean you always have to cross the ball to them it just means they're going to make those runs so they do get into the box you know you could even play a short pass to them if you want to but it's just so they make those movements now for the right CDM 
guys, I just completely leave him alone and just have him on cover center. The reason being is we want him to defend, we want him to attack, we want him to do a bit of everything in defending, you know, not just cut passing lanes specifically. And the only real important thing is that we have him to cover the center because this is the area that he needs to cover. We don't need any more wide players as we've already got Chiesa and Walker on this side. So we need him to fill that position and we need him to make life difficult in the middle. This is why I said the high, high work rate is very important for a CDM player like this. Uh, a box to box player sorry because they're going to be attacking and they're going to be defending now for the left cdm the more stay back player we're going to have stay back while attacking cut passing lanes and cover center this is basically just the bog standard that people use on a defensive player the reason being is we don't need them to contribute to the attack as they're meant to defend uh, we don't really need them to cover the wing because we've already got two wide players there and we want them to cut passing lanes so they're always being annoying and breaking up the play so it's pretty self-explanatory there uh, but yeah that's what i suggest just for the CDM. Now for the fullbacks guys, I have one on balanced attack and overlap and the other one on stay back while attacking and overlap. So I'm going to quickly explain this. So I have balanced attack and overlap on my left back because basically I want this player to contribute to the attack so we get extra width because like I said in my custom tactics, we have a lower width at 40. So by having this left back on balanced attack and overlap, he's actually going to increase the width of this formation and give us more width uh, instead of this just being super narrow so it does give us extra attacking support as well uh, and I'm using this on the left hand side because like I said Hernandez is my more attacking player so it does allow us to have more attacking opportunities now for the right back I have stay back while attacking and overlap the reason being is like I said this is a more defensive player we want defensive solidarity so we always have these three defenders back by default as well as a CDM so you know like four players back uh, and we have overlap because let's say I do trigger him to go forward with L1 I want him to overlap to increase the width i'm not too bothered about him underlapping as such so that's why we have stay back and overlap but yeah they're my custom tactics and player instructions that i'm using for the 4231 currently if you guys have enjoyed this video or found it useful i'd very much appreciate it if you could drop it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one and don't forget to turn on notifications so you are notified when a video is posted and with all that aside guys I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll catch you all later peace